All right, lesson two. Um, just a recap, make sure that you have your, uh, your FAST uh, working file open. So ideally you just did tutorial one and now we're moving on tutorial lesson two. And you did a file save as last name, first name, FAST2.psd. All right, this is just a quick lesson. I just wanna remind you on how to auto select layers. Um, so we've got our file open. I want you to go ahead and make sure you have your move tool selected uh, in your toolbar. And it's quite simply uh, at the very top of your um, options bar, you wanna make sure you have this little checkbox selected, the auto select and you wanna have layer. So you wanna have auto select layer selected. Um, and then this is really awesome. So for example, go ahead and select um, and click on the logo in the top left of your image. And then notice when I do this, it automatically highlights the circle logo in my layers panel. Um, so auto select layer causes Photoshop to quickly select the individual layers in your layers panel. Uh, try clicking other places in the document um, just to jump around and see how it works. It's really helpful and fast. Um, another kind of more advanced option is if you control click um, by hitting the control button and clicking, or if you have a mouse, you can right click. You'll notice what this does is this menu option shows the underlying layers in your document. So for example, it's showing me that I have the circle layer collect, uh, selected. However, I can go ahead and select corner square, which is the layer that we created that's underneath our circle layer. And it'll select that in your layers panel too. Um, also a quick uh, reminder and something fun is you can quickly and fastly change your layer visibility by clicking and dragging over the uh, layer visibility icons. Um, and so you can turn off or on many layers at once. So go ahead and try um, just click and dragging or bringing them back. Um, so go ahead and make sure you do a file save and we'll move on to the next uh, tutorial.